There are two fundamental layouts in Glide, list screens and detail screens. List screens show multiple rows from your table. Each item displays a few columns as properties in those list items, and you can change the way that the lists are designed with different layouts. In this app, we can see that the first tab contains a list of items. When we click on a list item, we get taken to that item's detail screen. This is a typical experience for an app that lists multiple rows of data. However, you can use the details layout for the top level of your tabs. In other words, you can show only one row's worth of data and then structure that tab with components. There are many reasons why you might want to do this, but we're going to go over the three primary use cases for using the details layout. Creating an information tab. This could also be used for an about screen or an instruction screen creating a per user tab, and also having multiple lists within a single tab. The details layout shows one list item. In other words, if you have a list of items and you change the layout to be a details layout, then your app will display only the top row of that list as a details screen, with components assigned to the data in each column. You can use the details layout if you want to show a non-list layout in a tab. For example, a welcome screen, an about screen, or a screen with instructions. To create this, we need to make sure our table has headers and one row with our information in it. In Glide, we can add a new tab based on this table. Glide should recognize that we only have one row's worth of data and set the tab's layout to details. If not though, we can manually change the layout to details. Now that our screen is a detail screen, we can customize it with components. Another use case for the details layout is to create a per user screen. The most common use for this would be a profile page, which shows only the information relevant to the logged in user. Let's look at how this is put together. In our table, we have three rows. Each row is for each user. In a traditional list layout, we'll see each of these rows as list items. However, if we turn this current screen into a detail screen, we'll see only the top row of data. This is a start, but at the moment, every user will see this row. We want each user to see only their own row. To do this, we can go to the data editor and make each user an owner of their row by using row owners. Now, when users visit this screen, they'll see only their own data. We can preview how each user will see the app by putting their email in the preview as box. When you create a list of items and assign a list layout to your tab, that list takes up the whole screen. Also, when you customize one of the list items detail screens, that layout of components applies to all of your list items. Alternatively, if we use the details layout for the top level of our tabs, we can create a complex arrangement of multiple inline lists, as well as other components. Each of these inline lists can be customized to have a different list layout, and the data can come from anywhere in our app. For example, in this conference app, we can see a home screen with multiple inline lists. We see speakers, talks, and categories. To set this up, we can turn any tab's layout to details, delete any existing components that we don't need, and then add our inline lists, as well as any other components. When we add an inline list, we can choose any table as a source, not just the table our tab is based off. Here we're seeing the data from the talks table, the speakers table, and the categories table. So that's three use cases for the details layout. Creating a simple information screen, creating a per user screen where logged in users see only their own data, and creating a screen with multiple inline lists.